All right, back at Ugly RC headquarters, Corbett's Garage headquarters, anyway. I uh, just wanted to show you what was left of the tank. That's the size of the tank we're talking about. It is an S10. I'm going to have to look up how big that is, but if you have a look at how much fuel's left over. That's after about 45 minutes of air time. Maybe 40. I'll go with 40. I don't want to overestimate it. Now, I don't know what average consumption is for a 40 size engine. But that to me is pretty good because fuel prices are about a dollar 45 per litre here. You compare that to say 10, 11, 12, 15 dollars a litre for say a 20% nitro methanol with castor oil. Obviously two stroke fuel, uh, two stroke oil rather, will cost you a little bit. Not much though. Usually have some kicking around the house anyway. So, this is what we call tight ass flying. Now, here's the uh, battery circuit. Oh, it's a switch. A battery. Yeah, right, did fine. This is just a little, I don't know what you call that connector. It's a bullet connector that I've just simply soldered onto. Yep, solder. Doesn't get hot, too hot. Still holds. And I've just got that. It's just a, uh, a ring crimp bit on the, uh, the exhaust pressure point for the gas tank. Now I can say gas tank now because it's running on gas. So, very, very impressed. Now, one thing I've noticed with this that it will not idle very well because obviously the carby's designed to allow more fuel through. Being methanol, I mean, it's got more bang for um, weight, but uh, Certainly, uh, you use a lot more of it, so there'll be more fuel getting in. Hence why I'm only running barely uh, one turn out on the high-speed needle. Um, which means you're going to be getting a lot more air through as well. And it's very hard to tune between low and high. So, um, generally, I have the throttle... Um, uh, trim right up on full when I'm, I'm flying this. It won't idle very well below that. Um, and that's that's enough to bring it down and uh, still give a little bit of drag without pulling it along too fast. I'm extremely impressed. I can't keep saying how, how impressed I am. So, how did we do this again? Simple. Tie on hose. Uh, obviously, you need a battery. This one's wrapped up. This one's not. And you need to ensure that uh, your bum actually is uh, petrol safe. Um, or gasoline for those of you in other countries. Um, now, Dubro do a petrol bung. I think it's a 400, I don't know what the letter is for it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. If we have a look at my box of bits, that's it there. Yep, gas conversion stopper, Dubro 400. Yep, picked up for $1.78 Australian on eBay. So there's that. Other than that, really don't need much else. So, that's uh, the end of that adventure. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to leave feedback, please do. Obviously, negative feedback, I'm just going to drop. Um, not really fussed what anyone else thinks anyway. Um, I'll probably end up blowing the engine. Yeah, I understand that. 
But as I said, I've got things that are more important than this in engine. And I'm going to keep running it. I'm going to check back in a few months. Let you know how it's gone, whether I've blown an engine or not. In the meantime, I'm going to have a hell of a lot of fun. I'll see you all around.